Gentleman oh, yields back. Maybe that oh. Mr. Cardenas would like me to yield to him. I yield to the gentleman from California. Thank you for yielding. Um, I move to strike. Um, H.R. 1435, the Preserving Choice in Vehicle Purchases Act, introduced by my colleague from Pennsylvania. I, I have talked at length about the work we need to do to address the climate crisis, and my home state of California has shown what a meaningful climate response can look like. But my Republican colleagues seem dead set on undermining our ability to moving toward a cleaner energy future for everyone. Simply put, this bill would reverse the strides California has made to improve air quality. Unlike my colleague who introduced this bill, I was born and raised in Pacoima, Los Angeles, California. As a child in the 1960s and 70s, I remember not being allowed to have a choice to play outside because of smog alerts. You see, California has historically had significantly quality air, air quality challenges, and luckily the state lawmakers responded. Since the 1960s, California has regulated air pollution from the transportation sector, which is the leading source of ozone forming emissions. When the US Congress drafted the air, Clean Air Qu Quality Act, lawmakers allowed California the authority to set more protective vehicle emission standards than those set by the federal EPA to accommodate my state's ongoing work to address pollution. This has allowed California to continue to cut emissions, protect air quality, and drive innovation, including production of cleaner fuels and low and zero emission cars and trucks. As a result, California leadership uh, have some cars today are 99% cleaner than in the 1970s. I'll repeat, 99% cleaner car technology due to largely the California, uh, what California instituted. As a result, we also have cleaner air, which not only means fewer days missed from school and work due to respiratory diseases, but also it means that unlike when I was a child, my children never had to learn about a smog alert. And my hope is that now and that my grandchildren, they also never have to learn about smog alerts. I want my grandchildren to be able to play outside. I do not want my grandchildren to be denied the choice to play outside. Unfortunately, today's bill reverses California's authority to enact clean air programs and attacks the ability of other states to adopt these standards. H.R. 1435 overlooks 50 years of life-saving innovation and leadership and erases decades of clean air progress. It cuts us off at the knees, our efforts to combat the climate crisis, and condemns Californians and all Americans, starting with low-income, hardworking people, to that air quality, the breathable air that we all deserve to have. I remember how much it hurt to breathe during a bad smoggy day when I was growing up. Now I don't have that feeling. I don't want any person or any generation of people to have to go through what some of us had to go through. I urge my colleagues to vote no on H.R. 1435. Thank you. And I yield back. Gentleman yields back. Further discussion, chair recognizes Mr. Bilirakis. Thank you, Madam Chair. Move to strike.